<laughs> yes! How's everybody doing out there? Good. See, we're making it through May. We almost got this one taken care of. I mean, think about it. Things are, the weather's getting better. Things are getting better. You're getting better. Maybe you're getting closer to getting out of the house a little bit more. Like I always say, we got this. I'm Karen from Wellness Works Northwest. And I am lucky enough to get the opportunity to talk to you guys. I love that. And you guys are beginning to talk to me. I'm so excited about that. So if you guys want to email or just kind of let me know how you're doing out there, you can go to Karen, my first name, K-A-R-E-N, at wellnessworksnorthwest.com. You can put wellnessworksnw.com. It's good. It's kind of long, so good, good, good. So I hope that you've been enjoying yourself and you've actually thought of some maybe new and different things to do and we're coming out of this. I know it. I can feel it. May is one of those interesting months anyway where it's kind of like you're like right in between things. Uh, we've got all kinds of graduations and all kinds of endings and beginnings going on. Like I said, the weather's changing and so now you have started to exercise. And right about now you said, well, I started this back in March. You might be feeling a little bit like, oh, I just wanted to tell you, exercising is super important. You know it is, that's for sure. And when you look at the total picture, the total plan, you also got to figure out your nutrition in there. And I hate to say this, but really, nutrition is 70% of the picture. I know, you guys, what do you mean 70%? What I mean is you can't go to McDonald's or Burger King or Nips. And then a couple of burgers and stuff, and then come in, work out, work it off. No, you, you really got to watch what you're doing. You want to make sure you're eating and making sure that your macronutrients really balance out. Now, what are macronutrients? That's right. We're talking about carbs, and we're talking about fats, that kind of thing. It's very, very important. And protein, of course. Big deal, protein. And you have to see how your body works. When you get on a diet, I hate that word, I've been on a yo yo and on and off diets. When you get on a diet, oftentimes it doesn't have what you need, and we're all different. You have to think about that. And if you're not thinking about that, all the exercise in the world won't give you those results that you need. I hate that, believe me. So you really have to think about what you're eating and how much of it you're eating, when you're eating it, and how that all balances out. Think about those cravings, that kind of thing. Now, when I have my clients come to me, a lot of times they are a little upset with food. They're not really sure exactly what to do. And it's kind of like, well, what do I do? I'm exercising now. What do I do? And the number one thing you can do is start reading labels, if you will. Turn it around and actually read the label. You'd be surprised at what's in a lot of stuff. And you go, whoa, really? You need to become more aware. And you you become more aware, you'll start making really good decisions. You'll go, wow, I probably don't need to drink that six pack of Coke, huh? Yeah, I need to make better choices. That's what it's about. Now, this is a controversial situation, nutrition, and it's different for everybody. So I want you to just jump into it, think about it, read what you can, uh, think about the problems that you're having. Are you exercising a lot and you seem to be getting no result? Interesting. Hmm. So maybe we need to kind of take a look at that and maybe develop a customized meal plan. There are lots of meal plans out there and it's kind of throw, oh, here you go. It needs to be customized for you because we're all different. What works for one person doesn't necessarily work for another. You have to remember that. Now, most people, when they come in, they really want to work on their core, the core and so much more. The core is really important, and because no matter what you're doing, walking, swimming, dancing, you're using that core. So you're going to have to learn how to use it in everything that you do. You can change your exercise just by using your core. Isn't that amazing? Even if you're doing your upper body, learning how to breathe just right is really important. Now, sometimes doing things like sit-ups and crunches can be really difficult. So if you get right here on this wonderful ball, it will help. I'm going to get on here and do a few crunches here. So I've got my ball here, and I'm going to sit down like this. Whee! There we go. I'm going to try to get my shoulder blades right there on the ball. That's going to help me, okay? Super. Never put your hands like this because you're 
really, it's wrenching on your neck, and your neck's very sensitive. What, here's what I like to do. I grab this like this, I kind of put them underneath like this, and I go up, like that. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Woohoo! Oh, I like that. That's cool. That way I'm getting it. And when I'm doing it, I'm crunching my stomach, and I'm also squeezing my butt. Powerful. Yeah. That's right. That is the way to Jolo's butt is doing this. Trust me. <laughs> Take your time. Nice and easy. You can do all kinds of things on this ball. It's very important. When it comes time to work your core, there's many different things we can do. Start exploring it. Learn to breathe well. Learn to kind of hold it in when you're doing stuff. It takes a while. You start doing, oh, I'm holding my core in. That feels different. I can feel it in my core. You know what? This journey is going to be a sweet journey. You're going to do great. I'm going to be there to help you. Give me a call. Let's talk about it. And when it comes to, to food, it's okay. I love food. And we can talk about it and get a good plan for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys are the best. I'm sending you all kinds of positive vibes and super prayers. Thanks again.